from Cordistry.com today. I'm gonna show you how to play Ellie Goulding's new track, Love Me Like You Do. We got a capo on fret one today and we need just a handful of chords. I'm gonna show you how to play all those chords and the chord progressions we use in this tune in this video. If you check the description, you're gonna find a link to the chord chart. And while you're down there, you'll see my social media links. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more lessons just like this one. So I'm gonna zoom in now so we can check this one out. All right, again, we got a capo on fret one today. And here are the chords that we're gonna need for this tune. G, B minor seven, E minor seven, and E minor, C, A minor, D sus four, and D. So let's cover all of those chords and then we'll go to the chord progressions after that. So G goes like this. Your first finger is on fret two of the A string. Your second finger is on fret three of the low E string. Your third and fourth fingers are on fret three of the B and high E strings. Strum all six strings. Just like that. B minor seven is a bar chord. Take your first finger bar across fret two from the A to high E strings. Add your third finger to fret four of the D string and your second finger to fret three on the B string. Strum the A to high E strings. E minor seven goes like this. Your first and second fingers are on fret two of the A and D strings. Add your fourth finger to fret three of the B string and then strum all six strings. And then E minor is your second and third fingers on the A and D strings, fret two, strum all six strings. Only one note difference there, and that's that B string, fret three. Moving on to C. C goes like this, your first finger is on fret one of the B string, your second finger on fret two of the D string, and your third finger on fret three of the A string, strum the A to high E strings. A minor goes like this. Your first finger is on fret one of the B string. Your second finger is on fret two of the D string. And your third finger is on fret two of the G string. Strum again the A to high E strings. D major goes like this. Your first finger is on fret two of the G string. Your second finger is on fret two of the high E string. Your third finger is on fret three of the B string. Strum the A to high E strings. And then to make a D sus four chord, just add your pinky to the third fret of the high E string. And now it sounds like that. Again, strum the A to high E strings. All right, there are the chords. G, B minor seven, E minor seven, and E minor. C, A minor, D sus four, and D. Now we can move on to the verse chord progression. Okay, the verse is gonna go like this. G, two, three, four. B minor seven, two, three, four. E minor seven, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. So it's gonna be an eight measure progression. Again, G, B minor seven, E minor seven, and then C, D, E minor. So the G is the first measure, the B minor seven is the second measure, and then the E minor seven are the third and fourth measures. The fifth measure is C, the sixth measure is D, and measure seven and eight are E minor. So you're just gonna strum once per chord and hold it for however long you need to. Let's play that again. And for the intro, you play it once, and for the first verse, you're gonna play it twice. So a total of three times in a row before we're onto the chorus. So here we go, we're gonna play it again. G, B minor seven, E minor seven, C, D, E minor. That's our chord progression. 
play it two more times, and that's the verse. brings us into the chorus now and here's how the chorus goes we're going to play G again B minor 7 E minor 7 and then C followed by A minor and then E minor D sus 4 and then D Again, it's another eight measure chord progression, and each chord is going to be one measure long. There's no two measure long chords for this part. So again, it goes G, two, three, four, B minor seven, two, three, four, E minor seven, two, three, four, and then C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, D sus two, and then D. And the strum pattern I'm using for this part is just down strummed eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I'm sort of accenting the down beats and making the up beats a little quieter so that it has some dynamics in it. on the first time is just one time through that eight measure progression. And then after that, we're on to the second verse. The second verse is gonna be another two times through our verse chord progression. And then once we're done that, we're gonna play another chorus. And that chorus, instead of once, is gonna be twice. So there's nothing really new yet. After that chorus, we're on to the bridge. And here's how the bridge goes. It's very similar to how the verse goes. We're going to play the first half of our verse chord progression followed by one full time through our first chord progression. So here is how the bridge goes. G, B minor 7, E minor 7, and then you play the verse. Then after that, you're on to the last chorus, and again, it's the same chord progression from before. G, B minor 7, E minor 7, C, A minor, E minor, D sus 4, that two times through at the end and then the last time with just one strum per chord to finish the two. So that's going to be it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.